show YouTube so I do a quick video here now this is going to be about the programming cable that you use with your Redivis or Midland repeater does not matter what model number um, you'll get a message when you try to use this and let me show you what I mean here um, I apologize I'm trying to I this computer is my repeater computer so it's not a normal computer that I normally record on for videos so I gotta do it this way but I was trying to do some programming and I plugged in that cable my programming cable to see what COM port it was on and this is what happened and I'm gonna show you here now I don't I'm pretty sure first we're gonna go to device manager go down to the search down there device manager we're gonna click on that then we're gonna go to COM ports here okay now I'm gonna plug in on the side of the computer here which you won't be able to see me do I'm gonna plug in this programming cable and watch what message I get when I do this now I'm pretty sure right there PL 230 uh, or PL 2303 2A not support Windows 11 or later please contact your supplier now I'm pretty sure I had this working before um, a while back ago because I have the programming software for the repeater but I did up Windows updates so I'm I'm pretty sure I probably messed it up although I can't say a hundred percent sure but either way if you get this message th the way to fix it is we're going to right click we're going to uninstall. Make sure you highlight this. Not don't highlight. You know how you can see kind of like a light blue there. Make sure you highlight that. Right click it. Uninstall driver. Then you're going to check here. We're going to hit uninstall. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to close this window. I'll post the link to download this driver on my forum. We're going to, it's a, it's a zip file, so we got to extract it. We're going to hit extract here. Okay. We're going to right click on this and run. Actually, let me see if I can do this better. Try to get this in the frame. We're going to right click on the file name here and we're going to run as administrator. Okay. So I'm going to unplug this cable, the programming cable now. We're going to run this at administrator. Next. And next. Okay. Now we should be fixed. So let's go back to type in the search here device manager. Okay. And now we're going to do the COM ports. I'm going to plug in the programming cable. Okay. And there you have it. We're all set. You can see it says COM port 4 and the problem is fixed. So I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments please post them down below please subscribe thank you and have a good day